Hello, everyone. Welcome uh, back to my channel here. I'm normally so used to doing my videos for Geek Vibes Nation, which are more like geeky stuff. But um, my personal channel, I've kind of decided that I'm going to regale it to be more of a mukbang channel because it's just a lot of fun, right? So why not? I look super white right now. Give me one second. that look any better <laughs> probably not but um yeah i just wanted to do a mukbang today which is uh Stu leonard so if you don't know what Stu leonard's is it is a um supermarket which is really cool we have one in westchester new york and they had a chicken parm meal so you have chicken parm spaghetti and broccoli rob now I will say first and foremost, I am Italian and normally uh, we can just make chicken parm and spaghetti. It's the most basic uh, Italian American meal to make. But before today, I was employed. Yes. Uh, due to everything that's going on, I am one of the many who have lost their job as a result. But um, my mom had gotten me this from Stu Leonard's as a quick microwavable meal. But since um, I will no longer be going back into an office, I decided I didn't want it to go to waste. So we'll be eating it today um, and kind of reviewing it, seeing if it's any good. Because as an Italian American, as I said, I grew up eating this stuff. So let's see if it is any good. But let's take a sip of water first from my skull cup. I have a light on. I'm sorry. It's really bothering me. I kind of feel like that's better. Um, I'm not a professional, obviously, so we're just going to do it. But I'm really hungry, and I've had quite the day. So let's check this out. I'm going to be putting some Parmesan cheese on first. The spaghetti. Check that out. And I love cherry peppers. I love anything spicy. So I'm going to put one of these on. Maybe more than just one. But one for right now. Just to taste it. But let's at least put that on the plate. Okay. Sorry about the lighting. As I said, I'm super amateur at this. The only mukbangs I've done before this are with my friend Cindy. And um, again, I'm just super new at it. But I want to try things out. See what I can do online. And maybe this will be a good format. So let's just check it out. All right. Spaghetti first. Ooh, that's a hot plate. I will say that um, I'm just going to move this back. I don't want my hair to get in the way. Um, I did heat this up on, uh, on a pan, so I did not meet, heat it up via microwave. And I also put anchovies in the pasta because I love anchovies. I mean, it's okay. Again, um, spaghetti with, you know, gravy as we Italians call it, but red sauce is very basic. I feel like you can't really mess it up, but... I know places like Olive Garden have definitely messed it up. I've never been to an Olive Garden. I'm just saying that because no real Italian would be caught dead in an Olive Garden. Let's try a chicken parm now. Of course, I didn't get a knife because I'm lazy.
It's a little rubbery, but again, it was a prepackaged meal. And I did heat it back up on the pan, so it's definitely not as good as my mom's. I think every Italian American out there will agree that their mom is the best cook. Um, and certainly that definitely goes for me. My mom is the best cook and she actually, uh, chicken parm and eggplant parm are just the best dishes that she makes. Like I don't have any sort of like thoughts that I'm going to become like, say a big mukbanger. My real passion is, you know, what I do for geek vibes nation, but this is just something fun that I thought I'd check out. And again, as I said, now that I have the time, I certainly can do it. I mean, if anything, like certainly who does it harm, right? It's just me eating. I'm not going to eat like copious amounts of food, which it's fine if you do. Me, I just want to eat a regular plate of food. Um, but certainly I love watching the ones where people eat a lot of food because then I feel like I can binge with them when um, overindulging is not something that I should do. I don't know. It was fun doing it with Cindy over virtual, which you can find on this channel as well. Um, we did over Skype because we couldn't get together, but we still wanted to film a mukbang. And that was really cool. We did like sushi. She ate uh, coconut curry and I had a lot of dumplings. It was really good. That is part of the cherry pepper. I should have gotten a knife, but that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Oh, sorry. I feel like I want another cherry pepper. I think I ate all the red ones. Oh, no. That's okay. Just stab myself in the fur. It's been a day, as I said, guys. Um, unfortunately, I was let go from my job position today due to everything that's going on, the, you know, the world state, the economy state. And it totally makes sense. It was no hard feelings. I you know, completely understood when I was told. I kind of saw it coming just because of the nature of, as I said, the world right now. It totally didn't surprise me. But, you know, you never want to get let go from somewhere. Certainly, we all have rent to pay and all that. So I just got to keep trucking along. Keep trucking along. Who is your favorite mukbanger, by the way? I would love to know. I really enjoy watching Zach Choi because he always eats a lot of, like, fried chicken that's really, like, crispy and stuff. And I love fried chicken, even though I try and stay away from it a lot just because, you know, it's not very good for you. Um, but I like watching Zach Choi. I like watching Dorothy. She's a South Korean mukbanger and like the food she eats is so spicy all the time. And I love it cause I love spicy food. And I just started watching Veronica Wang, which she's really cool. She was involved with a lot of, um, drama with another mukbanger, which I won't say his name, but it seems like that's still kind of going on. And, you know, I don't know about you guys, but it's like when you watch mukbang, it's like, I just want to indulge in the eating, not necessarily in the drama. So 
that doesn't interest me very much. Although I will admit that with the per- with he who shall not be named, um, I do like watching compilation videos of cringiness with him. So I just took a bite of the broccoli rob, which I really love broccoli rob, and it's good. It's not as salty as I typically like it, but I guess that's kind of good. Um, you know, whatever. Just having dinner. Mmm. And there's these two mukbangers who, they're brothers, and they just kind of started their YouTube channel, isn't very big, called Two Bite Bros. They are so charming. They're these two brothers. They're so funny. They're so nice. I just love the food that they eat. They're so cool. So if you haven't checked them out, Two Bite Bros are really awesome. I like them a lot. I love watching them. My mom was like, oh, you only like watching them because they're cute. And I'm like, well, that helps. But I do like their content. It's nice when you see people who are actually like, happy doing what they want to do. Mm. As I said, the chicken is a little rubbery, but I think I got to a better part of it. But the breading is falling off. Breading should not fall, fall off. You see that? Breading should not fall off. All right. Looks like I just got the broccoli raw. This is going to be weird. But I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese on it. I don't know. I've talked about being Italian. I don't have, like, official Parmesan cheese. But I'm also on a budget. So, Italian-American. Get out of there. Come on. My poor dog is sitting right next to me like, why aren't you giving me any food? And it's like, lady, you ate. Like, I just fed you. I can't eat your dog food. I do actually give her, a lot, like, a lot of my food usually, which I know they say you shouldn't really do, but you can't help it when your dog is sitting there, like, whimpering for you to, like, give them some of your food, even though they just ate, like, their food, some of the cat's food, all the food. <laughs> With a piece of garlic. Lady, it's broccoli, Rob. You're not going to want it. I ate all the chicken. I'm sorry, baby. I'm here, garlic. <gasps> Don't fall off. Garlic is like gold. Also really hard. Doesn't melt. Garlic should melt. I'm sorry for that really weird face that I just did there. Running out. That is so garlicky. My boyfriend is definitely not going to want to kiss me afterwards. (laughs) 
Oh, I also sometimes like watching the Daily Swole. But I feel like he would totally hate me because I'm overweight and I'm now doing like mukbangs and stuff. But there's something about his voice is that really soothing, even though like, again, he kind of, you know, he's all fit. So his like channel is really about, I guess, critiquing the eating habits of mukbangers, which again, the person, he who shall not be named, it's like totally deserves all that. But you know, sometimes when he talks, I'm like, ooh, he would hate me. But <sighs> I needed some water after that. It was a little salty. So I'm done. Um, so again, that was Stu Leonard's. If you're familiar with Stu Leonard's, they had this prepackaged meal that came with a piece of chicken parm, some spaghetti, and some broccoli rob. How would I rate this? Um, if you're in a pinch, right, where you want to go to work and you need something to bring with you to heat up or you've worked a whole day and you're coming home and you don't feel like cooking then you know what this is fine you doctor it up a little just like i did with the parmesan cheese with some anchovies some um hot pepper you know then it's fine but as someone who again grew up with and still my mom makes fantastic chicken parm me i'm not the best cook but i have uh you know given it a go with chicken parm it's really not say that hard it's just time consuming and spaghetti in a red sauce is probably the easiest thing that you can do I mean even if you say don't make your own sauce which I know is so like blasphemous for us Italian Americans but even if you say don't want to make your own red sauce you know there's plenty of jarred and cans out there that again you doctor up you always doctor up you never want to open it up and directly put it on, you know, you're going to want to put seasoning, you know, add some of your own stuff, you know, if you want to make like semi homemade sauce, you get still the jar with tomato paste, like, you know, cook up some sausage and meatballs on the bottom to give it flavor, add all this stuff in, you know, it's, it's easy, you can do it ahead of time, make a huge tray of chicken parm, you know, and then just put it in your fridge or even freeze it. And then, you know, take it out when, you know, you can make dinner or make lunch for yourself. It's a quick thing. So and I'm not sitting here trying to shame anyone who, you know, doesn't have maybe the best cooking skills or doesn't feel like cooking. Because, again, I'm a lazy person and I'm not the best cook. I just think that it's one of those things like I would never go out to a restaurant and order spaghetti and meatballs that's something I can do at home. Like if I go to an Italian restaurant, I'm going to get something a little bit more complex than that. But um, as I said, it's not bad. My mom bought this for me because at the time I was employed and she was just thinking of a quick thing to throw in the microwave. But I cooked this on the pan um, and it made for a decent dinner. It was certainly the right um, like meal, you know, it had one, nice substantial hi lady say hi by the way <laughs> it had one you know good piece of chicken uh the right type of pasta and a nice amount of bro broccoli rob so i feel nice i feel content i feel full um i don't feel starving at all so i think that that was a good uh portion definitely but um yeah so i would say out of five if you don't doctor up Stu leonard's um chicken parm dinner then maybe like a three out of five but because i doctored it up do like a 3.3 .3 out of five i'm still not going to give it that good of a review but it was decent it was it hit the spot i'm not going to be too harsh on it Stu leonard does make good to go stuff um so you know, if you have a Stu Leonard's near you, you can just always stop by, pick up. They have a lot of pre-made stuff. They have a lot of pre-made soups. I know that. And you can always just grab one, take it with you wherever you need to go. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. 
as I said, I'm just trying things right now. So seeing how they work out. Um, hopefully I'll be doing another Skype mukbang with Cindy because it's a lot of fun with her. We just talk about things and those end up being like an hour long just because we're talkers. Um, we'll just keep going if you don't stop us. But I hope that you kind of semi enjoyed this. Um, now that I'm home, I will have time to do a lot more and see if they work. But let me know if you've eaten any of Stu Leonard's pre-made meals. If so, what do you think? And also, what is your favorite Italian food? For me, it is eggplant parm. Uh, as much as I am a carnivore and I like chicken parm, eggplant parm is definitely to, the way to go for me. So it's been amazing. Please like and subscribe, comment. Please uh, help support this channel as I'm trying to grow it and figure out what the heck I'm doing with it in the first place. And you'll see more of Lady. She's amazing. Um, maybe you'll see some of my cats in the background. But yeah, please everyone stay safe out there. And wear a mask. Bye.